not one weather whiz kid, right. multiples, because the kids are really smart. <laughs> we can't hold back the avalanche of questions for Scott tonight. <laughs> and they're cute, too. But Scott? They're just firing questions mm -hmm. back and forth. And we talked about storms earlier this week. I've got tornado questions still uh, going on, but we're changing seasons, so that's what this is about. My name's Kaden, and I'm from Piney Elementary. Why are some um, parts warm on the earth and some parts cool? My name is Finn. My question is, why is the earth tilted and how does that affect the weather? My name is Ben. How does weather change by, by, by seasons? <laughs> All right, so there you got it. Three questions now. Why are some places on the earth colder and other places warmer? Why is the earth tilted? How does that all go together? And why, uh, how do the seasons change? And we must make a, a, no, a mention to the great dancing, by the way, in the background. Wasn't that nice? The kids <laughs> are really it. having a good time with that one. It was, uh, <laughs> there was some fun ones in there. Okay, so here's the earth, and it is tilted 23 and a half degrees. And so because of that, we have un even heating of the Earth that's occurring. Okay, so here you have it right here. The Earth's tilt right now. You'll notice here in the North Pole, it's in the shade all the time during the winter time. That's why cold air will tend to build up in the places that that uh, don't get the sunshine. If the Earth was not tilted, we'd have even sun. As the Earth went around, everybody would get a, a similar amount of sunshine, and so we wouldn't have that situation. But all that cold air builds up in the North Pole, while the equator, we have much more direct sunlight. And in the South Pole during the uh, winter time, our winter, their summer, it's sunny all the time. And that shifts. So that's why you have cold temperatures on uh, different parts of the Earth. And there's always a balance trying to go on. And so what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, the airflow and all the different storms going on with the tilt of the Earth. And it all depends on where it is revolving around the sun, what season we're at. And so when we're during the winter time, we have sun coming in at a very, uh, kind of a very low angle. And so the energy is spread on out. That's why you don't get as much heating. While in June, for instance, in the northern hem hemisphere, the sun is directly overhead that energy is focused and it goes most of it's getting to the atmosphere and heating the ground and so you'll have that uneven heating this is the change of season and that's why we have the change in temperature it all has to do with the tilt of the earth and the sun so three questions one answer <laughs> that is yeah, one of kind of answer like a big snowball put it all together <laughs> in there and there's more to come uh, tomorrow as well from pioneer elementary okay smart kids and good dancers very cool <laughs> <laughs> kingston